following the incessant clashes between members of the Shiite Islamic Movement of Nigeria and the federal government over the detention of their leader, Ibrahim El Zagzaki, and his wife Zinat, the news agency of Nigeria hits the busy business streets of Banex to get reactions of Nigerians on how this has affected their businesses and what, in their opinion, is the way forward for us as a nation. It grounded our business. Nothing happened again. In fact, instead of me, I used to close by 5.36. But I have to go around to four. Because once I can stay for one place for three hours, no going, no co coming, there's no need, I have to go to, back to my house. I learned that for a long time, the court has already in, in favor of freedom of this man, for God's sake, that they, they should allow him to go. And me, I don't know up to now the business that government had with him. That the government still retain him up to today. Even without thinking of what happened in Medugri that resulted to Boko Haram of today. It's almost the same thing. It's the region something. The other man, they carry him to police station and he was killed. And there, the, the followers rise up. And this is exactly the, something that want to happen even in, in capital city. All our market spoiled yesterday. Uh, I'm pleading government, may them look into this thing because this thing is too much. If this thing continues to happen like this, it will lose many souls. Already many souls are already lost because of this thing. May this uh, may government put in, put eye into this thing because it's not encouraged. Oh, we are here in our shop doing our business. All of a sudden, those shite, I don't know what they call them. Before you know, they started throwing stones shooting up and down before they now call the security. Advise the federal government to to tackle this issue on time before we lose more lives. Because it's uncomfortable that every time those boys are coming out. So they need to do something fast before it is too late. People had on radio all that and they will tell you this and that. But we that we witness we know what's happened here seriously. The thing is so terrible. So I'm pleading I'm pleading for federal government to do something about it because we that we normally work here, too, the thing is affecting us. Like day before yesterday, one of our um, day before yesterday, like one of our staff escaped to that place narrowly. Why? Because he was among them. When the thing seriously happened, it's in fact it is only God that saved him. If not, they cannot differentiate between him and shit. You know, this is how sometimes innocent people do have do. We do normally used to be affected in such kind of a problem. I plead that the federal government should do something about it. It's, it's quite unfortunate because lives have been lost and um, it's a worrisome issue. But to me, I'd like to advise that um, the federal government should um, be able to go into a roundtable talk with the Shiites and um, discuss the way forward. I think it's, um, we don't need to lose more lives, yeah? We are all Nigerians. This country belongs to all of us. Let's try to see how we can resolve this matter and live peacefully. There you have it. Nigerians have spoken in anticipation and hope that the federal government puts its house in order to avoid the wanton loss of lives and ensure the overall safety of lives and properties of its citizens. And I am Patience Aliyu, reporting from the news agency of Nigeria.